Okay, so I'm right. I made it to Celadon City, and just leaving now. Since we leave the west side here, you go ahead and cut this branch, and we can go up here. Just completely bypass that Snorlax, which I'm gonna go beat up. Walk past this dude, and then you pop out here, and then you talk to her. This random girl here gives you HMO2 cut. One of the most important HMs in the game, pretty much. Now, I have took Pidgey out of the box. Just because I don't have anybody else who can fly at the moment. Pidgey will not be seeing any battle time, but will allow me to fly around. So, first thing I'm going to do, well, after I talk to Lord Voldemort here is I'm gonna go down and fight that Snorlax. Then, I'm gonna fly out to Lavender Town to see if my hunch about the move deleter being there is right. Oh, what am I doing? I gotta use the Poke Flute. Wake up, Snorlax. Wild Snorlax appeared. More like it just rolled over. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and earthquake this thing. Uh, oh, almost one shot it. That's pretty. And again, I am 13 levels higher than it. And you're gone. Alright, so the big young star likes to return to the mountains. Alright, he's done. Now, we'll use Pidgey, Fly, and go on the Lavender. Now, I think... No, that's the Volunteer. This guy. No, shit. He's the name raider. Never mind. Well, I was right. There was somebody here. Yeah, I did. Well, that's kind of a bummer. I swear there was a move deleter. I'll have to look it up. Anyway. For the time being... Gonna fly back to Celadon because if now I'm gonna go down and take the cycling road path and just knock out all those trainers there from a bit of experience. I'm gonna go ahead and speed I'll just speed through that since it's just a huge onslaught of stuff that is mainly uh, poison types, I believe. Poison with some electric mixed in there. Gonna put the bike on. Time to travel, so Snorlax is out of the way. What was up here? Oh yeah, random people. You're going riding together. Good for you. Good for you. Alright. Now being cycling road, the one catch you're going on this road is you have to have the bike. If you don't have a bike, the guard up there won't let you throw. But, here we go. Super speed, ahoy!
Enigma's Cycling Road and the Aftermath. As you saw, it was mostly bikers with poison Pokemon, and one, maybe two of them had a Voltorb thing going on, but yeah. That is the way I think you're technically supposed to go to get here to Fuchsia City, mainly because you can get Fly on the way, and it's a lot quicker route. But, I mean, both ways work. The other way, as you saw, you can you got the Super Rod, and you fought a bunch of water guys. Both ways you fight a Snorlax, oddly enough. Uh, there was one section, I'm not sure if I put, I think I put an annotation up. I was looking for a rare candy, that's why I was running through the grass. Which, actually, let me go ahead and save now. And I'll be right back, I'm gonna go back there and grab that, and you'll join me when I find it. Okay, I found it, unfortunately I didn't get the recording on in time when I did, but it's like right here. It's like one row above this dude. So yeah, mystery solved. With that though, we're going to get the heck out of here. Not with you now. Fly. Now we're gonna head to Viridian City. Because that, of course, is where the next gym is. Hooray! Now, I'm gonna probably I'm gonna go heal up, of course. Sorry, fiddling with my screen there. Sorry for a second. Okay, one more level for Yuki, and then I'll switch out to Minane. And everybody should be right around the level needed for this next gym. Uh, Pokemon. No, I'm not surfing, darn it. Yeah. And you need, like, four grand. Not you know. I want to look... Oh, that's good. Now I'm going to push the counter around. That's not what I wanted to do. Go away, counter. Rah. Push this guy. No. And I'm not using Max Repel. I actually had to put a Max Repel on... So run through the grass to find it because I kept getting attacked. Special's actually not terrible. Six grand. Um, decisions, decisions. Give him the rare candy or give it to Minane? I'll give it to Minane. Because she, she's going to need more overall. Forty-three. All right. And... Uh, what was TM38? Oh yeah, Fire Blast. <laughs> now that's tempting. Let's see, Minane, you have... What moves do you have? Body Slam, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, and Surf. Now, here's the thing. I do want her to learn Hyper Beam. Don't I? Yeah, because it's a really good move. Which means I only have one more move slot I can I move I can put on her. Since unfortunately I looked it up, there is no move deleter in this game. So once you give a Pokemon an HM, it stuck with it forever. And apparently I didn't remember that. And it's already got two damn good moves on it. I was going to replace Body Slam with Hyper Beam. Nope. Yes. No, god darn it. Oh, I'm on a roll here. No. Yes, abandon it. And Yuki has strength and is also going to learn Hyper Beam. Which I was going to replace Bite with. Hmm. I'll hold off on that right now, as once again I hit the wrong damn button. No. Yes. Alright, that was fun. So we'll go ahead and deposit those two. Not my PC. Oh, that was good. 
Now I'm just mashing buttons. So I threw my bike in the computer room. So I wanted to get rid of that, because I don't need it. So we'll take the bike. Alright, now I gotta do another switch. And now it's time to go beat out Giovanni's gym. We'll go ahead and save. Giovanni, of course, our last gym. And then finally we can head for the Pokemon League. As I'm going in the wrong way here. There we go. Whoop. Funny, all that fuss with taking the bike out of the PC and then I don't use it. But there's no real point because I'm going to be forced to get right off it as soon as I go inside. And now we got this guy. Not really. Yes, they like ground and rock type. Mainly ground. So it should be an easy fight. Uh, let's see here. All this stuff looks familiar though. All these, uh... Convey- these, uh... Spinny pads? Let's see where this goes. Up, oh, no more repel. The crack of your whip? Well, you must be a tamer. And the jerk. The level 39 Arbuck, not bad. Alrighty, let's go ahead. And we'll strength it. Thankfully, strength is a decently powered move, so... It's not that much of a detriment to be on him. Whoops, as I bump my mic. And Tauros! Now, there's a good Pokemon. Tauros was another one I was considering going after. You can only find him in the Safari Zone, and he's got great physical attack. He's a really good normal Pokemon. Is it just- I mean, I always thought the Tamer there, the other thing he was holding looked like a lollipop. I don't know what exactly it's supposed to be, but I always- it's like he's got a whip in one hand and what looks like a lollipop in the other. I don't know, I'm sure somebody else will correct me what it is, but to me it looked like a lollipop. Maybe it was a fry- maybe it's a frying pan. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Now we'll pull this guy out of the way. Up, oh, it's a karate guy. He must have macho- machokes. Derpy things. The black belt. Yep, my choke. Level 43. Wow, it's only one level below. Let's hydro pump it. I was thinking. Wanted to go to Blizzard, but fingers said otherwise. And what about. And we knock it out. Nice. Ah, choo! So now we'll move through here. And unfortunately, that's the far as we can go this way. Yeah, it's because your leader took off. And we're now we're left with these guys, cool trainers. Starts out with a Knight of Reno. I need a Reno. Well, we're just gonna have we're just gonna have to hydro pump you. Oh wait, that's right. You don't become part ground until Nido King. Derp. Well, it still worked. There's Nido King. Speaking of it, look at that beast. Nido King is a very powerful Pokemon. He's got a great move pool, fantastic uh, physical and, de and special abilities. Unfortunately, being a Poison Ground type, water, water, as you just see, takes him out pretty good. And the Poison type, he makes it accessible to uh, Psychic and Ground. So while he's very strong, he's also weak to a lot of the stronger types, as everyone knows. Alrighty. You're up, Mina A. Everybody's 45. Well, except for the Pidgey, since the Pidgey just flies. Uh, let's see, we got those three. Let's slip around and grab this real quick. I'll revive. Well, it's something to sell. 
No, I'm actually still going strong. I have no worries of that whatsoever. If you guys could last more than one hit, then maybe I would be running out of steam. Unfortunately, there's no chance of that happening either. Take that. Dug Trio. Haven't seen one of you guys outside of Dinklet's Cave. Or if we have, I just don't remember. And an X attack. That of course skyrockets its its attack stat. Unfortunately, it's not gonna live this live long enough to actually use it. You're done. Yes, you ran out of gas, haha. Huh? And now we'll go see what you are. Oh god, he's going nuts. Run! He's losing it. Oh, it's just a black belt. They always grunt. All that working yourself in... Yeah, that's why you're raging, because you're stuck with a Machop. Ah, uh, we'll body slam it. Really? Low kick? And a Machoke. Another low kick. Alright. Ice beam. Nice. And we're exactly 50 HP away from max, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a super potion. And now time for this trainer. Pokemon and I will make a wonderful music. We make wonderful music together. Okay, that can be interpreted in a couple different ways. And it's the lollipop guy again. With a Rhyhorn. Very strong Pokemon here. It's a ground type, very good defensively and offensively. Unfortunately, hit it with any type of water and it just folds over. Very strong, slow Pokemon there. But... And it's a, a third of evolution of a Rhyperior is even more ridiculous. Yes, we are in perfect harmony. Harmony. Harmony, if I can... Talking one tail zero. Anyway. Rhyperior is even more beastly. The only thing holding it back is its slow speed, but with later gens involving introducing Trick Room, he actually works uh, quite well in those type of uh, teams. Now the Rhyhorn. Forty-four. Yeah, you lost your grip. You suck. Now, this, we're actually gonna have to make a detour here. We gotta pull this guy down out of the way. Because with him standing there, we can't get past since he's standing on the platform for... Uh, that's not gonna push us back. The receiving platform for the... Stupid transport thing. And we'll ice beam you. And he low kicks again. That's fine. Wow, crit. And now we're going backwards to Machop. Oh, we'll body slam the Machop. Or Machop, Machop, whatever. Tomato, tomato. And he's down on a sort of useless crit. And again, another Machoke. We'll surf it, why not? And he leers, so we'll surf again. Beat you upside the head with a surfboard! I don't know, I just think that'd be a much funnier animation for surf instead of just like the wave. Which, I mean, it makes sense. Or maybe just combine the two. It starts out with a big wave, and then at the end you just smack him over there with a surfboard. Alright, now we're heading up. Whee! The idea of this gym is to get you so dizzy you can't see what you... 
I have no idea what you're doing when you get to the gym later. How's your HP? Yeah, I mean heal. And, look who it is! <clears throat> the elusive Verdian City Gym Leader is none other than Giovanni. Well, for this momentous occasion, I'm actually going to remember to turn on the animations. And then we'll save. <laughs> yep, you plan the Resurrect Team Rocket here. But you have caught me again, so be it. This time, I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. And this time he's got five Pokemon. Once again, they're all of the ground variety. He loves his big muscle Pokemon. Wow, I'm actually lower level. Uh, no problem. Crit on you. Doug Trio, okay. And it growls. Nito Quing. Quing? Queen. Ah, uh, we'll throw another surf at it, why not? What's next? Oh, level 45, nice. Dragon Rage? Nah. Nice move, but not necessary. Nido King. For as strong as it is, it goes down just like all the others. Rash. That could be dangerous. Very powerful physical move. Uh, basically, uh, you're gonna swing three times, and at, after the third uh, third one, you get confused from the fatigue. Very powerful, but it locks you into an attack. Right on. There we go. Finally, see the evolved form of Rhyhorn. This thing is a beast. Level 50. Holy shit. But it still drops like a rock. Because I believe it's actually a rock ground, which means it has a quad weak as the water. Ha, that was truly an intense fight. Not really, I kind of just surfed you the whole time. You have won! As proof, here is the Earth Badge. Now, if you want to see an intense fight between... With, or with Giovanni, watch the new, or somewhat recent rather, uh... Pokemon Origins movie. The battle between Red and Giovanni is unbelievable. It really does justice to it. Thank you, Giovanni. And he also gives us TM27, which is Fisher. Fisher is a one-hit KO move that has 30 accuracy. And really, the way it's supposed to work, the way it actually works in game, is you have to be faster than the Pokemon you're, u that, uh, you're using it against. Other than that, uh, it's just, uh, there's something, uh, there might be another factor, I'm not sure, but speedrunners, having lost, I can't face my underlings. And he disbands Team Rocket. If you talk to him again, yeah, he disappears. So he, he disbands Team Rocket to go back and do some soul searching. But anyway, uh, Fisher and other one hit key moves. They have like a 35 accuracy, and. Speedrunners basically determine they just, uh, you can use the X accuracies, which is why I have a couple of them, saved in my PC because I wasn't sure if I was going to have one of those moves or not, to basically make it so it always hits. But anyway, Giovanni is done. And with that, we have all eight badges. 
So that means it's time for the Elite Four. Well, Pokemon League, I should say. So we'll go ahead and save. And we're gonna make our way over there. <laughs> 